Welcome back to Celebrity Radio. It's Alex Belfield talking to some of the country's biggest stars, some of my favourite people, and we've got one for you today. Dan Osborne is the star of Aladdin at the Thameside Theatre. Uh, it's on through the 6th of January, and I'm delighted to say he joins us now. How are you, Dan? I'm good, thank you, mate. How are you? Do you know what? It's really good to talk to you. You and I couldn't be more different in a way. I'm a deeply unattractive man, and there you are looking stunning always. I mean, a nice <laughs> bit of trouser for the ladies. And you're hugely successful too. We got to see a different side of you in Big Brother, which I loved. It's been a great year for you, hasn't it, really? Uh, yeah, yeah, it's been good, yeah. Um, yeah, Big Brother, to be fair, for me, was just uh, sort of a, a chance, really, just to be me. I don't think anyone actually saw got the chance to see the real me until until I went in there and just thought you, you're left in a house and you used to do what you would do in your well, I suppose not in your normal day to day life but um, just to sort of be yourself you're not told anything you're not you're just thrown in there with a cameras watching you mm. are you amazed how much interest there is in you I mean I google you right now and there's 700 news stories you're constantly being papped is that exhausting uh I know it sounds it sounds crazy. I don't I don't really think about it to be honest. I don't <laughs> like it sounds weird, but I just sort of I just sort of get on with it. I don't really think about it like that. I just it is what it is, isn't it? I don't really don't really think about it. I suppose it's been so normal as part of your life for so long now you don't even notice. Yeah, I, yeah, I don't, I don't even know how long it's been. It's probably been five, six years. Um, but yeah, this this year's been hold on. I better go back outside. Sorry. I just walked into the theatre and there's loads of kids. <laughs> <laughs> You'll get mobbed. I'll, I'll, yeah, I'll wait out here. <laughs> Let's do this quickly because, I mean, you're in Aladdin. You're in between shows as we stand here. What's it like doing a 10 a.m. show? I mean, it's got to be hard work. Yeah, to be fair, they're, they're, they're really good because it's, um, it's the school shows. So it's just a load of excited kids and they really get involved with the crowd. And um, they absolutely love it. Tell me about... No, Tell me about when the phone rang and they said, do you want to do pantomime? Did you have sort of a moment where you went, eh, because a few years ago it was very cheesy. Now it's one of the biggest ways of earning huge money in some of the biggest theatres in the country. Yeah, that's it. Like, this is my fourth pantomime now. Um, so I've, I've done it before. And then uh, I worked with the same company last year. So, And I really like the guys who, who own this company. They're, they're lovely people. It's Helen and Darren. Um, and I really get on with Neil, the director. So I, I, I knew I wanted to work with him again. Um, so it was a, it's sort of a no-brainer for me but yeah it's, it's good fun at first when I first done a panel I found it really scary I was quite nervous I'd never been on stage before but um, now, now I enjoy it and yeah it's a good way obviously it's, it's good money you earn good money but it's, it's good fun and it sort of makes it feel like Christmas mm. yeah I mean it's so festive and to see the joy of the kids how scary is your pantomime because some of them now I mean they've sort of got to make them relevant for 2018 kids aren't going to sort of stand with knock-knock jokes are they? That's it, yeah. No, it's, it's all right, to be fair. The kids get involved. They love booing the, the, the baddie. We've got Abanaza, who's um, he's, he's the baddie in this, who basically like uh, Jafar from Aladdin. Yeah. He's, he's Abanaza. And they, they probably give him give him a big old boo. They, <laughs> they give him a lot of stick. Kids don't care nowadays. They don't get scared. They just <laughs> they want to get on stage and deal with it. <laughs> They've seen it all before. Well, tell me about your family coming. Have they been to see Daddy on stage? They haven't been seen yet. I think they might be coming tomorrow. So um, they they love it though. Literally, like last year, um, I was gassed on um, in Beauty and the Beast. This year, I'm the genie in Aladdin, and they're like they they probably look forward to it. They're like, Daddy, when are we going to watch you in the show again? I'm like, mm. <laughs> so so they they probably look forward to it. Do you find yourself looking in the mirror in between shows or after a three show day and thinking, has my life really come to this? Because it's a strange world pantomime, isn't it? You've got to completely go with it, or it's a bit silly. It is, yeah. You got, you got to give it everything, really. Yeah, yeah. I do sometimes. I do look in the mirror and I think, like, what, at what point was I going to be walking in these big baggy trousers and these gold <laughs> shiny shoulder pads? So yeah, it's, it's definitely different to every other job I do. And how do you have find find time to go to the gym when you're in the middle of two or three shows a day? When I've got a free show day like today, um, I won't be able to go to the gym. But when there's when there's two shows, if if it starts in the afternoon, I go to the gym early, and then if we, we've been quite lucky we have days where we do a 10 o'clock show and a 12.45 so then I'm done by sort of 3 o'clock so then mm. I go to the gym and then get home um, but yeah you, uh, with the gym you've just got to find time you? you've got to do it got to make time well you have I haven't because I'm too busy eating you see what about <laughs> Christmas I mean do you let yourself go and eat exactly what you want or have you always got your eye on it uh, I do I do sort of eat what I want um, over Christmas and to be fair most of the year but I just make sure that I train hard and Mm. and get some goodness in me in the day as well. Yeah. Um, 
yeah, I'll, do, I'll make sure that I get my training in. And back to Aladdin at the Thameside Theatre. It's the Christmas panto that everybody's looking forward to. Do we get to hear you sing in this show? Uh, I'll, do, I'll do a tiny bit of singing. <laughs> Tell me about that. What have you got this year? <laughs> uh, I'm singing uh, It's the, the Greatest Show from The Greatest Show. Ah, wow. <laughs> That's a big sing. <laughs> <laughs> How is that then? I mean, do you enjoy it or is it terrifying? Uh, it's actually all right, to be fair, because the song's it, like it's it's quite a good song to sing. Mm. I remember before when I, I had to do a pantomime and I had to sing an Ed Sheeran song that was quite nerve wracking. But no, this is it, this is good. It's, it's all right. I enjoy it, to be fair. I mean, obviously, there's a bit of acting where we got to see you on the Essex show. Is this something you'd like to get into? I mean, maybe EastEnders or something like that. Uh, I mean. I don't really think about like, what particular show but I, I've always wanted to get into acting but I think it's just sort of it's sort of getting the time to, to really push for it I, re- I want to do it and it is something I'm going to do but just um, it's just finding the time to, you, it's something that you've got to give everything do you know what I mean mm. and I will hopefully next year I'll, I'll have some time to give it a push and, and go for it Is there any dream role you're looking at? Uh, I mean the dream role is, is there's dream roles and then there's there's the realistic roles I don't know but, but um, dream role I'd, I'd love to play in like action movies and stuff I, that's, when I watch action movies I, my heart gets going and I love mm-hmm. it but yeah I don't know that's that's well in the future I've, I guess <laughs> you and I couldn't be further different or further apart as human beings but when I saw you on Big Brother this year I really think it made you in- instantly recognisable and relatable and people realise that you're a top man congratulations on everything uh, Aladdin at the Thameside Theatre Christmas Panto Thurrock uh, is going to be a joy Aladdin through until January the 6th starring Dan Osborne thank you for your time thank you yeah if you get a chance please come down and watch us it's a good show good bunch of people and uh, we're having a lot of fun on stage